The first tier is F tier. Now, no kaiju is in middle or low F tier. The ones in this video are all high F tier. This is because they could have either made a better change to their design when progressing, or they're just absolute jank. The first kaiju is Mothra. Now, you might be saying, why all star pterosaur? Why place Mothra in F tier? Wah! Well, even though Mothra has an adult can fire lasers from her eyes, it's one heck of a flyer, a skill that is envied by many players that haven't unlocked it. It has really strong legs, and those bunch of mandibles of hers can pack a punch. In larval stage, she can fire silk that can tangle up opponents and still has those mandibles. But that's the thing. You progressed in your stage of your gameplay and made a few advancements. Make a double effort to have a better mouth weapon, like a proboscis that's barbed and can pierce um, the skin of uh, another kaiju, like you're putting your hand through water, or make a triple half-baked effort and get some venom. And that life-giving ability of yours, that's the most anticlimactic game and dare. But Mothra doesn't change, and she doesn't care. Imagine you, uh, one, uh, you are one of your pet dogs to grow up to be a wolf, but no matter what you say, it's still a dog. Even if it's a husky, and, you, and it looks like a wolf, and it howls like a wolf, it'll still be a dog. That is how the Mothra do. But admittedly, I have to give her credit uh, for achieving a set of skills that seem impossible to all have at once. But another thing that makes her F tier is because of her first life stage. During the larval stage, Mothra is vulnerable despite having her um, silk spitting ability. It may work well against one opponent, but it's rendered useless when against team players. Plus, her long body doesn't do her any favors when trying not to get grabbed. And like um, those lower um, tier moth players when they're the larval stage, or um, more precisely, the caterpillars, they um, mostly have um, poison that can um, make them bad to eat. And Mothra could have um, specked into that and actually um, made um, herself safe and secure. But that's why I'm placing her in high F tier. The last and second kaiju that's in F tier is Manda. I'm not going to go too much in depth um, on this one, but um, in terms of who's higher um, for an F um, build, Mothra is higher because she has the flight ability. Manda, like, he could have um, had a better ability. Like, he could have had all four legs and have them webbed and be able to swim even better than just slithering like a sea snake. And I'm probably even specked into some venom. But hey, constriction, it's still a pretty powerful weapon. But, not gonna lie, you're pretty vulnerable at that stage um, when you're constricting your target. Otherwise, Manda, it's still lowish high F tier. So that's all. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And the next time you wake up as Mother or Manda, it might be time to change closets. Something, 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 Godzilla.